It is a joyful island of creativity in the middle of Chicago's bustling loop. It's as welcome and as refreshing as a desert oasis. But its value goes beyond that. Gallery 37 will showcase the abundant artistic talent of our high schools and give our young artists an experience I hope they'll never forget. Well, the thing that impresses me most about the whole project is it seems to be more or less an oasis. I like the oasis effect. The effect of having the, the beautiful colors and the beautiful atmosphere in the midst of all of this gray and black concrete jungle, you know what I mean? It, it has a very calming effect on the mind, I think. You know, because a lot of kids, I've noticed that a lot of kids that will come from potentially, potentially, potentially hostile environments kind of cool out when they get here, you know what I mean? And kind of leave all of that, that uh, survivalistic mentality that they've adopted in the streets, they kind of leave it behind, you know, and it allows their mind to focus more or less on the things that they're doing, you know, in terms of creating. On the Commonwealth Edison Building, which is the last building standing on this site, and really don't you th think needs some decoration? Well, it's going to have it, and it has been commissioned and has been designed by Carl Worsom. You'll be able to see this going up every day here. Tell me what's on your mind. Honestly, I think Gallery 37 is the best thing that happened since um, Keith Haring Mural 1989. Um, I also feel like Gallery 37 is a surrealistic uh, MASH 477. You know, I feel like I'm a surgeon every day and operating on a lot of people, teaching them how to do art. And both people exchange ideas and exchange art and friendship.